Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this four-court film for this absolutely beautiful 2016 Volkswagen Touareg R-Line. This particular car is finished in Canyon Grey, uh, probably my favourite of all of the, uh, the Touareg colour lineup. Under the bonnet is the 3-litre V6 turbo diesel engine, and it's the higher output 260 brake horsepower, uh, silky smooth and extremely economical on a decent run. Has full-time all-wheel drive, and um, being the R-Line has a number of uh, different sort of styling uh, additions to it as well. So you've got a slightly different uh, front bumper design here. This is obviously the facelifted model. Uh, they first came out in 2015. Um, just a, a few sort of subtle changes, things like the LED headlamps and everything at the front, um, but all the really nice sort of R-Line styling down, down on here. You've got the chrome grille that runs all the way across the front with the R-Line badging. Um, all the chromes in fantastic condition. I've actually seen quite a few of these before where they've been a little bit mottled in places where the sort of um, quite strong cleaning agents and things have been used. But um, this is all absolutely uh, fantastic. The, the chrome's um, looking really, really smart indeed. Um, obviously, you also get things like the uh, the extended um, side bits here on the, at the bottom of the door just make the car look a little bit wider all the way around. Um, this car's also been upgraded with the 21 inch Mallory alloy wheels which are again are my favourite for this um, this particular one so it's an upgrade over the uh, the standard 20 inch wheel. Uh, every single one of these is, uh, has just been refinished and, uh, and in absolutely perfect and completely unmarked condition. Uh, four very very good tyres all the way around it as well. Um, and then if we come around to the back you've also got the twin exhaust here that you can see uh, and again the additional sort of gloss back styling. Uh, part there to the back as well and then a, um, a, a bumper protector across the top. Uh, just finishes the car off really really nicely and ties in quite well with, with the chrome roof rails uh, and the window surrounds as well. Uh, this car's also been upgraded with the uh, privacy glass as you can see so from the B pillar backwards there including the um, including the boot. Um, Bodywork wise it is in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, I think there's like one or two stone chips to point out or something other than that there really is nothing. Um, it's in really really lovely condition it's been extremely well cared for um, by the previous owner if we come down the side here you'll see completely free of any dents or marks or scratches and even across the bonnet car itself has done 40 just under 48,000 miles um, very very good there's one stone chip there that's been touched in to uh, to body color as you can see um, but other than that there really isn't anything to point out at all that uh, I don't think you'd be happy with when you saw it in person so really it's just that chip and then a couple of very very small light ones uh, that you'd expect to see on any car sorry we've got uh, been chased around by bugs and things today that's not damaged that's a annoying fly um, and yeah front bumper again completely free of any marks or scratches or anything like that at all really really lovely all the mirror housings everything in perfect condition as well um, we have an electric tailgate for the car, um, so simply that can work uh, directly from the, uh, the button on the key. Once into the boot area here, um, we'll see again all really, really nice condition. There's been a, um, a semi-rigid low liner that's been put into the back um, to protect the carpet. Again, as you'll see, we can pull this out. Underneath here. You've got your emergency spare wheel that's um, been completely unused and also your toolkit with things like your locking wheel nut and air compressor and everything for the um, for the spare tire uh, and then in that bag there as well we also have a Westphalia removable tow bar um, it's a very very neat system um, it's been uh, fitted in so got the, the newer style electrics um, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to show you but basically it's the hidden mounting point for it is just under here but as you can see from the back of the car when you're not using the tow bar it's completely invisible there's been no cutaways into the bumper or anything like that it's all in really really fabulous condition um in the back here we've got a um splits for the seats as well uh, so you've got 40 40 20 split there the center section there comes down um as do the uh, the other seats that fold flat uh, and then also the uh, obviously the the parcel shelf is removable on there which gives you a huge amount of space uh, very very practical indeed uh, the seats themselves as well can uh, have got sort of uh, different areas in which they can be um, they can be tilted back to, to certain points as well so you can have them slightly more upright um, or uh, or more uh, comfortable if it's uh, if it's leaning backwards uh, close the tailgate you can either do that from the key um, or from pressing the button up on here uh, there's also a release on the inside of the car as well just on the door in fact i'll just show you that now um so you've got the release button down here but uh, so there's yeah three different ways of opening the boot um this car is also fitted with uh, keyless entry so you can if as long as the key is in your pocket or something you'll see the mirrors folding in there just to show that the car is locked uh, to unlock the car simply walk up and just touch your hand on the uh, on the handle as if you're going to open it as long as the key is in your pocket or in your bag or something like that then it'll work straight away so straight hand onto the uh, door handle to unlock it 
and just press on there to lock it. So really nice and simple and easy to use. Um, through to the back, again, very well looked after. No marks on the, the backs of the seats where they've been kicked or anything like that at all. Uh, it's in, uh, in really lovely condition, all the leather and everything like that is absolutely lovely. You've got additional cup holders in the back here. And we also get a view of this huge panoramic roof, an electric blind that comes across from up there. Um, but there's quite a heavy tint on this on this uh, window already, so um, it's actually quite nice just to leave the blind open and enjoy the the light that it brings in. Um, but yeah, completely floods the interior of the light. It's a really really nice option this one. Um, so uh, you've you've got that, and then obviously the main part of it opens uh, either tilt or slide. Uh, so that's through to the back, and then up front, um, over on the door. We've got the controls for the power folding door mirrors um, as they're also heated those as well you've got independent child locks for the back which is really useful so if you've got an adult on one side and a child on the other you can just um, use the child locks for for one side um, and then if we jump in automatic headlights automatic windscreen wipers got a multi-function steering wheel again really nice r-line design three spoke leather steering wheel Again, all in fantastic condition. Um, because of the keyless entry, all you have to do is just press your foot on the brake and press and hold the start-stop button and the car will burst into life. Uh, we will see the mileage today, 47827. Um, don't expect that will be going up too much. Uh, we've got things like tyre pressure monitoring display. I'll come back up and show you some of that sort of stuff in, in a second. Uh, but we'll just come across to the main screen. We've got, um, this is for your, your media and your satellite navigation and things like that. Uh, so we've got DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM stations. Um, really nice touchscreen system to use. So just hit your DAB radio from there. Um, Bluetooth, uh, audio streaming, so things like Spotify or uh, podcasts, playlists and things like that. You can, um, you can access direct from your phone um, for, uh, for the Bluetooth connection. And then it's also got um, an onboard storage hard drive and, and auxiliary sockets and things like that. But like I said, most people will probably use Bluetooth for, um, for all of that. Um, very good sound system in the car as well. Uh, just the normal standard one that comes with the car, but very, very good. Um, Bluetooth for your telephone calls. And then through to the climate section, we've got things like a heated steering wheel. You can either use the main button up on here um, or on the screen. And then you've got your, all of your settings and everything like that for the air conditioning profiles um, up on here as well, so you can change all the bits and pieces. Uh, satellite navigation for Western Europe, um, very, very nice, takes full postcodes. So you can either have it in two-dimensional or 3D mode, um, or I think you can have a Google Earth. No, you can't. Um, yeah, so you can have it in, in 3D from over there. Um, through to the car. Uh, we've got this sort of off-roading section here. We'll show you your your, um, your current height above sea level as well as a compass. And then you've also got with the four-wheel drive the system on here. When you um, turn the steering wheel, it will show you the steering angle and things like that. Should you wish to take the car um, off-road, um, we've got parking sensors front and rear. Uh, I'll just show you the display on there as well, so that'll come up onto the main screen, show you which parking sensor is being used. So if we just head closer towards that bush over there you should start seeing it there you go so it'll show you which sensor is being used so you know how close you are to that so that's your parking system um, and then if we go through to the servicing screen um, it will tell you that the car is due a service in 84 days so we will be carrying that out uh, prior to the car being sold so that will all be done if we've sold with a with a um, with a fresh service and then you've also got a, a full control panel for the car in here as well, so you can change absolutely everything. Um, obviously things like your um, speaker setup and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, and just uh, the units that you see on here, the lighting and everything like that as well. So it's all, all done through there. Uh, all, like I said, very nice and, and easy to use. You've also got things like traffic reports and stuff as well. Um, down to the climate screen or climate control panel. Uh, three stage heated seats for both driver and passenger. And then we've also got independent temperature settings for driver and passenger. This is the dual zone climate control. So the passenger can have a separate temperature setting to, um, to the driver, should one feel the cold or heat more than the other. And obviously access for all of your heated screens and things like that as well. Um, down to the main bit, obviously your automatic gearbox. This is the Tiptronic gearbox. Uh, very, very strong 
and um, and reliable. Uh, absolutely the best out of all of the um, the VAG gearboxes. You don't have any of the, the nasty DSGs um, that cause issues um, along the way. This Tiptronic box is very very good. Um, same sort of thing that's fitted to things like uh, Audi performance models like RS6s and and the big four x fours like Q7s and things as well. That's um, it's a really really good gearbox. Automatic handbrake and hill hold assist as well to stop you from rolling backwards. And then you've also got the on off road and on road modes there for your um, for driving. Um, economy wise, uh, so this car is fully ULES compliant as it's 2016, so it's Euro 6, um, and we also have things like start stop, stop technology as well um, to uh, to just help with the um, with the fuel economy. Um, really nice option, actually. The newer models don't have this one. It's got one one large uh, cubby. This one's actually got independent lift up armrests in here which um, many people that move up to the, the newer version say they really miss these um, so it's a really nice thing to have uh, just it helps with comfort and everything like that um, and then you controls for your sunroof up here as well so as I mentioned you can just push up and have it as a tilt or you can open it fully and that will go back that will stop at the first setting which stops any sort of noise buffeting and then you just twist it again and it goes back to fully open all works nicely you've got the newer style frameless rear view mirror which looks very very smart you've got your vanity mirrors again all illuminated up there and then if we press the little buttons on the inside of this a really good sun blind comes across it's not a sort of nasty flappy one that gets stuck and everything like that it's actually a really good quality decent relatively solid one as well so very very good indeed um, just looking around the rest of the interior, things like the headlining and everything like that, all in absolutely beautiful condition. There's nothing to uh, to mention uh, or point out to you. Same again with the leather up front and in the back. All really, really nice. Decent sized glove box with all your books and manuals and some cables here for the um, for the entertainment system if you're not using Bluetooth. And that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, I think if I was going to be ultra, ultra critical, a couple of very small little scratch marks just on the trim here just where I think normally people take their seat belts off and it's just clattered against it but again that's really just to make you aware of it but um, certainly nothing excessive at all all the piano black sort of inlays and everything like that completely free of any marks and all in really nice condition I hope you found this video useful. Uh, as I said, it's an absolutely beautiful car in fantastic condition, a very, very solid and decent service history all the way through. We will be servicing the car uh, prior to it leaving us. Um, so uh, with that with a, a very recent MOT as well, uh, basically means that you, uh, the, the new owner won't have anything to spend any money on anytime soon. Um, if you can help with any further information, if you require any finance figures or you have a part exchange that you'd like to value, then please do let us know through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help. Um, there's also a number of uh, for people watching on the YouTube channel um, we've actually sold quite a number of these uh, Volkswagen Touareg models uh, over the years so um, please do feel free to um, scroll through our sold section and also look at some other videos that are on the YouTube channel uh, just to that again just sort of talk you through the different specifications and things that are available um, thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you next time